Meantime, back here in the Bay Area, the case against the man found guilty of killing a former Lakeland City Commissioner and her husband in their home continued in court today. Yeah, Marcel Walden is facing the death penalty. And News Channel 8's Polk County View reporter Stacy De Silva live just outside the courthouse in Bartow. Stacy, things took an unexpected turn today. Is that right? Yeah, Josh and Stacey, that is right. Marcel Walden waived his right for his defense attorneys to present new evidence to go against the prosecution's claims that he should be sentenced to death. This came after emotional victim impact statements from the family and friends of David and Edie Henderson. It's been a daily struggle to remember our parents as they lived, not as they died. Todd Bayless was the one who called 911 in November 2020 when he went to check on his mother, former Lakeland City Commissioner Edie Henderson, and her husband David in their Lakeland home. Monday, he addressed the jury members who last week found Marcel Walden guilty of killing his mom and stepfather. We will forever live with the horrors of that loss, the circumstances around it, the what ifs of that day. Prosecutors say Walden killed the prominent Lakeland couple during a botched break-in, stabbing them more than 20 times. Doctor, how does the human body register pain? On Monday, prosecutors set out to prove Walden committed six aggravating factors and in turn should be sentenced to death. Those include committing a crime that was heinous, atrocious, or cruel. She has defense wound also. So, yeah, it will be a lot of pain. Walden did not allow his defense team to provide any counter argument to spare his life. His attorney, Daniel Hernandez, told jurors he was prepared to present evidence about Walden's upbringing and a head injury that caused brain damage. The problem is, is that my client, um, Mr. Walden, has decided to waive that presentation. Now, no reason was given for why Walden made that decision. Closing arguments are scheduled for tomorrow, and the jury is set to deliberate after that. Due to a change in Florida law, prosecutors need to only convince eight jurors to sentence Walden to death. Reporting live in Bartow, I'm Stacey De Silva, 8 on your side.